Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, appreciate you being here. We'll get right into it today. So recently, I had someone ask me what I thought of Amazon stock. I had a friend ask me if I thought they should buy it or not. I haven't looked in a long time, so I thought well, that's a great idea for a video today. So let's take a look. So I'm here on Yahoo Finance for a cursory look at Amazon. Today it says it is $92.94. Let's see. And the high that it ever was, it was about around, they don't give you the exacts on this, but let's see, $173 uh, dollars was the high in like August of 21. So, uh, you know, quite a drop. Uh, the analysts say it's overvalued. Um, what else we got? Let's see. $951 billion dollar market cap. Wow. Okay. Um, let's see. Their one-year target estimate is 133. So that's that's interesting. Okay. Let's see. Earnings per share negative? 27 cents and no PE ratio? What's going on there? Sure they're profitable, right? Right? <laughs> let's see. I don't know. Okay, down here where it shows uh, revenue and earnings for the past few years, revenue is going up, revenue is going up like that. That's beautiful. Earnings um, is going up like this except 2022. Uh, it's a lot lower, a lot lower. In fact, even maybe negative. Oh, okay, so let's take. So let's see what's going on here. Let's go straight from the summary to statistics on Amazon ticker symbol A M Z N. Let's us see what is happening here. Profit margin negative 0.53%. Okay, tiny little loss there for right now. Operating margin 2.38%. That's great. Um, return on assets 1.73%. Return on equity negative 1.92%. Okay, let's go to the total the balance sheet here. Total cash 70 billion. Okay, total debt. 169.9 billion. Okay. An operating cash flow, 46 billion. Levered free cash flow, 7.62 million. So that looks really good. And of course, there's no dividend. I don't like that. That's one thing I don't like about it. Um, let's go to, I don't think we don't need to go to financials today. Let's go, just go to analysis. See what they're calling for for this year and next year, as in like sales growth, earnings, and revenue estimates. Sales growth. Oh, wow. Okay. So in this year, 2023, 8.4%, very respectable. And next year, 12.4%. Oh, that's really good. Let's see. Earnings estimate, the average estimate, 1.41. And the low for the low for this year is 0 0.18. Wow. That's, that's crazy. And the high, 1.94. And next year, the low, 1.21. High of 3.53. And the average, 2.5. Okay, so yeah. I mean, they're looking really good there. Earnings looking really good. Revenue's looking good. I guess just right now, they're negative on earnings. For, barely negative. They're barely negative. So after looking at this, can I go any further? I can go to the financials. I, I really don't need to, you know. Um, usually statistics analysis. I mean, you know, financials. I don't need to do it. They're they're gonna they're making money, or they are at least they they're not making money. Maybe just at this instant, something happened there. They probably invested, spent a bunch of money, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna say, what do I tell him? Right? I'm gonna say, well, yeah, yeah, buy it. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's hard to go wrong with Amazon. They say it's overvalued. But, you know, if I was going to buy any Amazon, right now I just buy a little. I, I think it, it probably is overvalued. Um, and it's got no dividend. I hate that. You know, I hate that. Like I said, I'm not a big single stock buyer, you know. Like I said, I like ETFs. I, I, like, I like dividends. Because when you buy an ETF, you don't have to worry really about it going to zero ever at all. And, you know, I think almost all of them, most of them pay, uh, or at least most of them pay dividends. You know, you got to love dividends because you start getting your money back. You know, how about that? You know, so what do I think of Amazon? Um, yeah, I th I'd say it's definitely a buy, but I wouldn't buy too much. And if you, I, I, I prefer 
you wait till it goes down some, but it might not. Like some of these companies, I mean, like the Fang stocks, they just some of them run hot almost always, you know. So that's my view on Amazon. If you're going to buy any, buy a little bit because uh, they say it's overvalued. I think it's overvalued, even though it has come down a lot. And I just hate that there's no dividend. So, okay, that was a simple one today. And you know, like I said, a lot of these big stocks, they're simple to you know evaluate, analyze because you know. A lot of them are so profitable or are almost profitable, as in, you know, they've been profitable maybe like one quarter they're not, you know, due to investments or whatever, no big deal. So, you know, they're pretty easy to analyze, not hard to figure out what's going on. And I really like the sales growth. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. And their earnings and revenue estimates um, by the analysts, by the way, that's like about 44 analysts, you know, are saying, you know, Wow, yeah, it, it's good. The earnings and the revenue estimates for this year and next year even better. So if you're doing sales with 8.4% predicted this year, um, man, yeah, that's that's really good. And next year, 12.4, man, you can't beat that. So yeah, I guess that's it. That's all I got for you today. So yeah, I think Amazon's a buy, but just buy a little bit. And um, And that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Bless each and every one of you. Until next time, peace.